baritone students, this is a baritone. You'll learn how to play this soon, but first there are things that you need to know before you even get to this point. This is a baritone case, and hopefully there's a baritone inside. When you get your baritone, you're gonna be eager to take it out of the case and make noise on it, or make beautiful music on it. But there are certain things that you need to know before you can do that. First of all is, how do you get the baritone out of the case without damaging it? You're gonna hold the baritone case, put it down like this, and the bell, the larger end of the case, is gonna to go to your left. Then you're gonna tilt it down so that it lies flat. Then you're gonna undo the buckles on the case, open it up, and then your baritone is inside. There are two parts to your baritone. There's the main instrument and a mouthpiece. So we're gonna take the baritone out very carefully, and then we're going to put the mouthpiece inside. Keep in mind, this is metal, and it will dent if you knock it against something. So that is how you put your baritone together. So you'll notice that when I put this mouthpiece into the instrument, I didn't smack it, I didn't shove it in, I just give it a light little turn so that it's a little snug. Keep in mind your instrument is made out of metal, and metal can dent or be bent if you hit it against something. So be careful when you're holding your baritone. You're going to hold your baritone probably on your knee or your leg, and you're going to hold it in this section here with your left hand and then your fingers your thumb is going to go under here and your fingers are going to go up here and you're going to hold it like this the way that you make a sound on the instrument is by buzzing your lips I didn't do that very well but I can do it again and then you're going to put buzz your lips into the mouthpiece and then you're going to put the mouthpiece into the instrument. And that's how you make a sound on the baritone. So you'll notice that after you've played for a while, you'll hear a crackling sound in your instrument. This is condensation or water that has uh, developed inside the instrument. It's perfectly normal and it's something that you'll have to deal with for as long as you play your baritone. There are a couple ways to get the water out of your baritone. On most baritones, there is a water key here. And all you need to do is push on this key and blow, and some water will come out of here. You'll want to put some newspaper down so that you don't uh, mess up your carpet or your floors. And that will be the primary way you get the water out of your instrument. Sometimes you'll hear crackling even after you've done that. And you'll need to possibly pull out these slides and empty the water out like this. Now there are a couple different slides here and they will possibly have water in them. Uh, so that's how you empty the water out of your baritone. Now for some basic maintenance. Your valves will need lubrication or oil. Now you can find oil at any music store or online and you'll just want to get something that is for piston valve instruments. So for the same as uh, trumpet oil or baritone oil, it'll all be the same. So the way you're going to do that is you are going to twist underneath the valve. This part right here will unscrew. Now you're not going to take it all the way out, but you'll just pull it out a little bit and you'll put some, a couple drops of oil right on here. You don't need to douse this, maybe four or five drops of oil. You're going to put the valve back in and you're going to screw it down again. And make sure it's sort of tight, but again, like your mouthpiece, not too tight. And 
work it up and down, and that will oil your valves. You do that for all three valves. You'll need to oil your valves probably once a week at least. If you've uh, played your baritone a lot and they seem to be sticking, you can oil them almost every day. Uh, but just a couple of drops here and there and your valve should work smoothly. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to put our baritone back in the case. We're going to gently pull out the mouthpiece and put it in the piece in the, in the place where it belongs in the case. And then we are going to gently put our baritone in the, the valve section or the place uh, where the bunch of the tubing is, is going to be on top. And you're going to just gently put it in. You don't need to press it in. You just set it in. Close up the, the case cover like that. Make sure that the buckles are locked. And there you have it.